Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. So you can see, I think this patient's mine. So you can see uh, we've got a very, very sort of what well, yeah, there appears to be skin, and that's exactly what's happened. As soon as you get that suction tube on it, boom, it all just <laughs> collapsed into that uh, suction tube. A little bit of wax in there as well, but this is coming away, touch wood, ah, coming away really nicely. They can, they can go one or two ways, yeah. these ones. They're either yeah, really, much. really easy to do, or they're very, very <laughs> tricky yeah. and difficult. You can see that sort of tail of wax, a uh, tail of skin there coming off the back end of this. Still going, there we go, there we out that comes. Yo, that's just drawn. Just, yeah, Wasn't it a little bit, but it looks like it's most of it, yeah. Just a little bit left. Look at that girl, whoosh, just all sort of imploded into the suction tube as soon as you've got a grip on it. Oh, Eardrum looking, looking nice looking, and healthy. Yeah, perfect. So that's looking good in there. Instant relief. Instant relief. <laughs> Not so much on this. So this is more of an annoyance, I think, because of those yeah. tiny little hairs. They would they noticed that, you know, when they lay on their ears, they were feeling a little bit blocked. They've got water and they're feeling a bit blocked. So, you know, no, the, the patient's hearing generally is good. Yeah. There's just loads of gaps around it. But if you get water in there, it plugs those gaps. Patient just doesn't feel like they're hearing particularly well. So it's... Uh, yeah. And obviously it's a bit drier this side as well because we generally tend to see a lot of patients who are... Uh, if the hearing is pretty good in the one yeah. side and not so good in the other, um, even though we'd normally advise some olive oil into both ears, yeah. depending on like you know case history and then yeah. as long as there's no other problems, uh, we'd normally advise both ears. Um, but obviously, this patient's been a bit concerned about using some just in case it starts affecting the hearing yeah. on this side. Uh, they don't want to make it any worse. So sometimes they can have if they if they put in drops in as well because the wax tends to expand. It'll it'll make them feel worse. They'll do yeah. one ear and not the other. It happens yeah. a lot. Uh, two and a half centimeters of wax and skin. Oh, it's one inch. Yeah, yeah so it's a nice easy one that one. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it might be yours next. I'm not sure. Yeah, sure. I think it's a, it's you've quite, got quite, quite a, a beefy one as well quite, today. Quite you've a, got a good, good, good yeah, one. Yeah, quite a long one. So. Um, yeah, prepare yourself for this one. It's uh, quite uh, quite a lengthy one. This one, um, you can see here as we as we're looking inside the ear, very very thick dark plug of wax in this side. Mm. We know straight away this is going to take us a little while, and you can pretty much see straight away when we're trying to suction this. I'm just not getting any movement at whatsoever. Anywhere, um, now I believe this patient had. Ha has had wax removed uh, in the past, but I believe it was about 15 years ago. Ah. So quite a quite a while. Yeah. So we would have recommended this patient have more regular checkups on their ears just to stop this from happening. What would you say is the average time? I mean, based on your experience and the patients, what would you say the average time is if you if you're a wax builder like this that you you sort of leave between your appointments? Yeah, How long it, would you leave there? I mean, it's very it's very difficult to judge, mm. but if if we see somebody for the first time, or if I see somebody for the first time, yeah. I'd normally recommend them book in when they start feeling some issues. Mm. Um, I personally generally tend to see a, a pattern with like repeat patients. Yeah, so yeah, the most um, the most common that we generally tend to see is about twelve months. I'd once every twelve months. 12, yeah. um, if the if there's other things going on, like really narrow ear canals, or if the if if the wax naturally is quite wet, yeah. then we more than likely see those patients every three to six months. Yeah. I'd say sort of, sort of skin issues probably about every six as well. Yeah. You know, it's, it's it's a real you, you do but you will find that patients are almost like regular as clockwork, aren't they? Yeah. You'll get some people will come through and they'll say, well, like I, I know I can go over eight months, and you'll look back and it'll be almost like seven months, nine months between yeah. the last one. Yeah. So it really goes. So we we um, we've swapped tools as you can see. We've popped into the ear now with the jobs and horn. So there was a little gap above the wax. So I've tried to get as far back as I safely could. Now, what I'm kind of hoping is happening is like, <laughs> you can oh, see we've just kind of, yeah. we've just kind of sheared a little trench in the middle of this wax. Now what I'm hoping is going to happen as we start to, to, to loosen this off the top of the ear canal, if we can get a good grip with the Jobson horn, I'm just kind of hoping this whole plug is just going to start sliding forwards. That is thick as well, it's you can see just how, how the Jobson horn is, is, is sort of penetrating into that wax. That is thick as anything. Now obviously we can't go crazy with this, we can't go too far, so I'm just sticking with what we can see. So I'm I'm just trying to loosen the wax from the ear canal at the moment, which is why you can see me going from like sort of side to side. And I'm really just hoping that this is gonna have some movement. Now I, I, I'm a bit, dubious about putting any oil in at the moment just purely because of the view 
I don't want it to start fogging up and blurring up the view. So this is where we've just, I'm, oh, I'm I kind of, I, then. Sorry, I, I'm, a... I'm just popping this in and I'm almost kind of going in a, in a sort of a, like an arc. a, yeah, like an arc sort of motion, not straight down. So I'm, I'm trying to bring this, uh, well, it'll be on your, it'll be on your right hand side, it's yeah. on our left hand side, but I'm, I'm just trying to bring this and a very, very, you can see this starting to move here yeah. now. That is, that is tough pressure that is to get right as well. Too much you pull straight through, too little doesn't budge. That's slow and oh. steady. Look at that <laughs> going away. That is a good plug. That is a good plug. Uh, just come out of the end. That's what you mentioned about that. Too much pressure and it just breaks away those little bits. I think bits, it just stuck, didn't it? Just at the entrance yeah. of the canal. It just pulled through. You can almost see this kind of like a, like a, well, almost like a donut shape. Yeah. Or shoe shape, yeah. Um, Going onto the food and allergies again. Food references, you can take it all from <laughs> me now. <laughs> so I've just, just I'm, I'm just trying to slowly draw this forwards. There we go. Pull the, pull the yeah. Jobson home further back. Pull it forwards. Just trying to roll as much of this forward as we possibly can, in a hope that we're keeping this all together. You can see uh, some skin in there yeah. as well, that grey material there. I was literally just going to mention that, that that little bit that you can see there, that lighter material. Oh, it's still going, I'll tell you that. Still oh, there it coming. is. We've got that gap. Just, the, the, I just spotted the gap there. there My go. goodness me, oh that was gosh. a plug and a half. Look, Look at, at that, that one. <laughs> That's a beastie, that one. That's a chunky old plug. And I think we've got the same on the other side as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's really quite, uh, what is that, that sort uh, of almost coal black colour. <laughs> Struggling to pick this up. It's the weight of it probably. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get somebody else to help <laughs> lift my arm up. As well. <laughs> me on the other end of the job, <laughs> starting to pull it down and lift it up. We, yeah, oh, you can see how dry yeah. that is. Look at how dry that canal is there. Little bits of uh, this like dead dry skin here now that we're just popping back in with a fine end just to try and remove these last little bits. Um, we've obviously, as you can imagine, patient is already feeling so much more relief with that yeah. uh, and with that plug out and lighter. <laughs> <laughs> we don't weigh the wax and eye <laughs> no, in no. our clients, unfortunately. <laughs> but we should, uh, what we should do is we'll weigh the patient when they come in and weigh it when they go out and see what the difference is between the two. <laughs> there we are. So so much better. Still little tiny spots here and there, but uh, you know that the patient did really well to sit through that slight pressure we had to put on that plug. To be fair, so. Yeah. Um, I, as always, we would have normally recommended this particular patient, um, or like most of the patients, um, mm. continue use of olive oil yeah. about once a month and some regular checkups as yeah. well. Um, now you could already see, you could just about peak the eardrum on this side. Yeah. Um, so it's a lot softer as well. So I think a lot more oil has actually gone into this side. Yeah. Um, or probably the same amount of oil, but this has obviously affected it sort of penetrated into this wax. Yeah. That really hard, dark colour wax, it doesn't always penetrate into it. It's no. just such a tough old surface on it. So that's why I've opted for the, the, the standard size Zolna tube in this year. And you can still see underneath it, as we're lifting this, um, we've still got a lot of dryness underneath where yeah. the oil hasn't fully penetrated through this this wax. It's almost the skin is sort of peeling away. It's like it was welded yeah. to that canal wall, isn't it? And that's, that tallies up with the dryness you saw yeah. on the other side. Yeah, yeah. and you can yeah. just about see, just underneath that plug is where that skin is just holding mm. on to it. So I, the, the, the reason I'm kind of wiggling around here, uh, we're just trying to break that away, which should happen anytime soon. <laughs> you, you, generally, you generally tend to have difficulty holding on to these dryer yeah. plugs. I think we, sw yeah, we swap back to the jobs and horn here now. So now that we've lifted and peeled that that dead skin away from the bottom of this plug. Ideally, now that we get into this little gap behind the plug, we should be able to slide this out a lot easier now that we've detached this off the ear canal. So a little bit of gentle pressure now at the back. That's what we normally say to our patients. You're gonna feel a little bit of a pressure just as we pull this forwards, yep. but that is moving well. Worst case scenario, though, it rolls over, but it's yeah. it's looking like it's going to come away nicely. There's the roll. It don't matter if it happens at the outside the ear yeah. God, that is like a little hedgehog. That's full of <laughs> that's full of eggs. Oh, it's like Look a little, at that. It's like a little bird's nest. It is, yeah. <laughs> My gosh, all that skin as well underneath it. You can see that grey, beigey kind of layer underneath there. Gosh. Again, struggling to pick it up. Yep. <laughs> trying to trying to find a spot to uh, poke into it. Yeah, it's just, some of them they're just so tough oh, they, and dry that you just can't even get the tools into them. 
And we always try to avoid dropping these on the patient as well. I've done that a couple oh, of times. Oh, I've done that so many times. It's just quite dry plugs and just roll it's down the patient. hit the floor and go, don't. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Look at the size of those plugs. Wow. You've had some really, really big plugs recently. That's I seem to get like quite small ones there. Four and a half centimetres. Yeah, like and I've actually added the jobs and horn on here so you can you can actually see the size difference of the, of, of the plugs. Somebody did ask here. in the comment section. Could yeah. we put a couple of the tools on as well? Um, guys, don't forget, if you're having problems with your ears, you can always come and see us here. You can check out the link in our bio. It's got our website and our contact details on there as well. So no matter what platform you're watching this on, there will be a link there somewhere to our website. Uh, get yourself booked in with myself or the lovely Mr. Taylor Green, and you'll get this sorted out for you. Um, and if you enjoy the videos, don't forget to like, share, heart, subscribe, follow, all those things. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you yeah. very much. Uh, I've right way over <laughs> my, my uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, you can see here, we've got this deep plug. With uh, Patient's got a tragus piercing, which is what that metal thing is, you can see there. Patient did say, oh, do you need me to take it out before we start? I was like, no, that'd be fine, be fine. And then this giant, giant plug came out, which is stuck to the back Stop. of it. So they kind of bring it around this tragus piercing. There you go. I mean, it's... You know, they could take it out if they wanted to. It doesn't, you get, oops, I've got a little bit around there. I think they'll probably want to take that and give it a good wash yeah. afterwards. There's a bit of wax on there. But this was a pretty solid plug. I actually had a patient really struggling to take theirs out. This It was in for so long. Yeah. So you just have to kind of adapt. Yeah. And try and, try and work, work around, around it. it. Yeah, definitely. You see a very humid ear canal there as well. Now, we've put, you find out a lot with these bigger plugs that where they've yeah. sealed the ear canal up, you just don't get the moisture coming out, do you, of the ear canal? So just tidying up, you can see a little bit of a wetter section here. This tends to happen when patients have had sort of bath yeah. showers, a bit of water trapped by the side of that plug, just softening some of the skin. So this is the fine end here, just, just tidying up a little yeah. bit. Looks nice and healthy otherwise, a little bit of irritation there, I would say, yeah. but uh, apart from that, it looks absolutely yeah. fine, but that's more than likely where that plug has just yes. been in there for quite a, Definitely. possibly quite a little Definitely. while. Definitely. We see the other side here now, so we've got this, very similar. I think there was no piercing on this side, though. But this looks a little bit. The other side was hard, but this looks more sort of granular, more more sort of brittle than, if you like, bits in here. Yeah, it's coming out quite nicely so far. Yeah. Nice and easy. Fingers crossed, it'll stay in one piece. Yeah, there we go. Nice oh, big chunky section there as well. That surface really very irregular as well. Sometimes it'll be a little bit difficult to get a suction yeah. grip on there. But the eardrum looking absolutely fantastic yeah, perfect. beyond. Perfect. So all looking good there. Was, it was nothing compared to Taylor's, but what do they have? <laughs> two, two, two and a half centimetres there yeah, worth of uh, ch chunks of wax there. Yeah, about an inch again. So I think there's one more. I think I think this last was mine. I think, I think because we, I, again, we, yeah. I did a few short ones. You did the, the really long one in this one, but um, well, I can't actually remember. I think the last one's an eardrum peel. Ooh. I think so. I can't quite remember. So we can see this layer at the top. That looks a bit like wax and skin. That sort of that cream layer got come oh, off. Oh, you can yeah. see it all around the outside edge there. Um, yeah. So this was a bit of an unusual on this one because I thought we were just dealing with this uh, plug here. So this is the fine end on here straight away. Uh, we've opted to go with the fine end. You, you, if you've got a if you've got a, a sort of a, a key now, you can almost kind of see the yeah. edge of the skin the, where it's the, the yeah, because it's all peeling away. Yeah, so it's totally not through me, but I didn't expect to see it. So we went straight in with that to get the fine end on that bit just to stop me clarinetting, and then we suddenly see this this whole section peeling from beyond it. So I've got the crocodile forces. Look at that peel. Look at it. Look at that. Oh. that coming away. You can even see the top there, just above the past plaster. Yeah, it's actually peeling down. Uh, the canal, uh, the, the sort of attic portion, the roof of the canal, if you look wow. almost. So yeah, there was a heck of a lot of skin in here that, that I didn't expect to be sitting beyond this. I've got to be honest, it wasn't until we started pulling it you could see it. Yeah. It's come away really nicely as well. It has, yeah. A little bit, a little bit left there. Now, is Obviously, this going to peel though, Taylor? That's yeah. the thing, or is it going to shear? Look at that peeling oh. away there. <laughs> That whole, it's still holding on quite yeah. tightly, but you can see how that almost like little fine sort of spider webs of, of skin holding onto the top section there. A lot of olive oil got in now, a fine end on here. Yeah. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Look at that, it's just peeling from everywhere. Ah, oh, so again, I know we uh, it's from the side there yeah. again, like, yeah, you, again, they, they're very, very tricky sometimes to do these. Uh, 
these skin peels because sometimes you can't even see you can't even no, see it sometimes no it's that thin isn't it and i think if you were using a just a general horoscope or otoscope i don't think you would have spot you would have seen that blockage to start with but you wouldn't have seen this beyond it i think this no. is where the endoscope is a really good tool um for, for for you know especially with these peels i've got to peel the eardrum here because you can see it peeling look at that coming away oh. off the eardrum there as well that whole section just coming away there. Oh, I just brought the side. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, Everything nice, nice. came out there. So we had, when we first looked at the eardrum, it just looked a little bit dull. Uh, I think when you look in there, you'll actually see, you can see, the, you can make out the parts of the eardrum there as well now. So we can see the malleus there. Difficult now, this bit, because we've, we've got this section right on top of the malleus. But look, look at that. You can see oh, how it came away from the yeah. eardrum. So this is just a, a migration issue, really. It's just not migrating off the drum particularly well. These are the tricky bits when they yeah. when you can see them still attached. Oh, it's coming away really nicely, actually. Yeah, I was lucky it folded yeah. into the fine end because when you've got to peel into this anterior recess, uh, I tend to do this motion, which is go up along the side and sort of br bring it out. Yeah, uh, that way, which is where you can see me. There oh, you go. There we go. And that's what we mentioned, I think, on I can't remember if it was this video or the last video where you said you can slowly see that skin yeah. instead of just drawing into the suction yeah, tube slowly that's right and that's what helps to start pulling this away but oh nice and looks perfect yeah good, that was that was job. that was difficult one. Was, obviously most of the skin got sucked inside the tube but this yeah. is what two centimeters there of, yeah three quarters uh, three quarters of an inch yeah well guys um thank you again for watching our video today don't forget if you like the videos like follow share heart subscribe for me if you've got any problems with your ears you can come and see with the lovely mr taylor green or myself check out the bio it's got a link to our website and also our contact details in there but as always, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another. And me and Taylor will see you for the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.